Hi guys, this week we have a long journey ahead of us. We're off to South Africa's Stellenbosch to check out a Chardonnay which is budget and also big on exotic flavours. Coming right up. Hi folks, welcome to another edition of Big On Wine, the show that brings you news, clues and reviews, of course, about everything in the world of wine. And as you probably already know by now, all the wines I review on this channel are my own picks. I pay for them with my own money. I'm not on anybody's payroll, I assure you. OK, let's get into the pick. And the wine of the week for this week is this one here. It's a Lawrence Ford the Dome Chardonnay and the vintage is 2016. Now this wine comes in where I am for a price of just over 13 euro a bottle. Now this wine is from South Africa, in fact from uh, just east of the uh, Cape Town um, from uh, Stellenbosch and uh, Cape Town uh, is about 40 kilometers away um, west of Stellenbosch and this is a pretty big wine in all respects here. It has 14.5% alcohol but is in fact a almost bone dry wine just two grams of a residual sugar. Now this wine is made by the Lawrenceford Estate and the climate in the Stellenbosch area is very, very temperate. It's considered to be one of the best wine producing areas in the whole of South Africa, um, certainly in the Western Cape coastal region, and it consists mainly of rolling hills. And it's the red varieties which, generally speaking, have won the most plaudits, Cabernet Sauvignon of course being perhaps the paramount uh, variety of these. Okay, Chardonnay accounts for about 10% of the production in this area. Okay, so we're dealing here with a single variety wine, Chardonnay. Let's check it out in the nose and see what we can find. The colour as we can see already is a light uh, light to medium straw colour with just maybe a little tiny little touch of green in there as well. Very pleasant looking wine. Let's check out the nose. In the nose, yeah, well, I think pretty much straightforward in the sense that anybody who knows anything about wine can tell you that this is a Chardonnay which has been in oak for a little stretch of time. It has a kind of a fairly restrained aroma in the nose, fruity, um, ripe fruitiness I would say, ripe fruitiness, um, maybe even hinting towards some sweeter, sweet exotic fruits but we'll, we'll come to that later, um, a touch of toastiness but generally a little sweetness there and a touch of toastiness in the nose, fairly restrained indeed. Okay, let's try it in the mouth and see what we can find. Mmm. Now, isn't that good? And isn't that different? Now I'm going to be completely honest here and tell you that I am not a great fan of over-oaked Chardonnay. I don't belong to the ABC school, anything but Chardonnay, but certainly over-oaked Chardonnay has never been one of my favourites. Luckily this is not over-oaked and it's also on big on flavour. It's very, very nice indeed. Now this is a bone dry wine, but it has a hint of sweetness in there given to it by these exotic fruits. So what kind of exotic fruits are we actually getting? Let me take another swig and I'll tell you more. Hmm. It's a kind of a blend of a pineapple married to a peach. Rather a strange analogy, but there we are. Pineapple and peach come through very strongly in here. 
Um, it has a wonderful kind of buttery, smooth creaminess to it, uh, which comes through particularly in the finish of this wine. Um, reminds me almost of the kind of flavour that you get when you eat a walnut. Yeah, there's a certain nuttiness to this wine. So a nuttiness, a butteriness, with an interlaced selection of those wonderful exotic fruits. Not so heavy on the citrus here. The citrus is there, certainly. It does get the mouth watering to some extent, but the uh, lemon or the citrus flavour not to the floor. The exotic fruits are to them very much to the fore here. Um, let's try it one more time. This is an exceptionally good wine from South Africa, especially when we consider that where I am, the price is only about 13 euro a bottle. Yeah, it has that creamy, buttery, but also mouth puckering finish to the wine as well. Now, for me, that is the kind of Chardonnay that I can drink with pleasure. All right, what are we going to be drinking it with? Well, I would say white meat, um, chicken or turkey, but there is sufficient body in this wine, sufficient, um, I think, strength that it would even cope with something like veal or even lighter pork dishes. So white meat in general uh, would stretch to pork and to veal. Very nice indeed. Okay, serving temperature is important also, I think, with these um, this kind of Chardonnay. So I would be looking at a serving temperature of around the 11 or 12 degree mark. Um, that would be the ideal temperature for this kind of a wine. Let's bring you the heads up on this. This is Lawrence Ford, the Dome Chardonnay. The vintage is 2016. The price where I am is a budget 13 euro or so. I would say this is a bargain price for a wine of this caliber. I'm going to give this wine, Lawrenceford the Dome, a rating of four stars plus out of five. Okay guys, many, many thanks for taking the time to uh, watch this week's video and the little intro to the uh, Lawrenceford the Dome Chardonnay. Now that is a Chardonnay very much to my liking. If you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard, then please feel free to give us a like, drop a comment down below, of course, and uh, feel free to uh, follow me on my, all my other social media platforms. And hey, why not subscribe by hitting that big red button up there somewhere behind me. I'll be back again next week with another great wine of the week for your pleasure and enjoyment. But until we meet again, this is Tony Melville signing off and saying, hey, be good to each other. Take care out there. Enjoy your wines. And cheers.